What's up everybody, it's Chewfaka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas, I did as well. But anyways, as you guys can see by the thumbnail, we're going to be having the best budget player inside of Madden at the moment. This is somebody you can get for under 30k. They're basically giving you guys this for free. But by the thumbnail, you could basically see this is going to be Evan Ingram, the 92 overall. But anyways, let's hop right into the card. If you logged on to Madden on Christmas, they gave you a free Evan Ingram collectible that looked like this. So you didn't have to pay a single dime for this. It would be in your unopened packs. I woke up and this was actually inside of my binder already. But as you can see, all you need to buy is the hot cocoa, which is 12.5k snow in the auction or in the binder or the market, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the store right here. And that's all you want to buy. And right now, since everybody's opening packs, everybody's ripping their presents, it's Christmas. All the cards are super cheap, but if you go all the way to the Zero Chill tab and all the way to Hot Coco, this is all you have to get. As you can see, I already bought one for myself to do this gameplay on this Evan Ingram already. But as you can see, 12.5k snow, very easy to get. You can get a lot of snow from challenges alone. And this is basically just a free another 92 overall that has some crazy stats. As you can see, we're going to do this live right now. We're going to power him up for you right now and everything. But he's just a very, very solid card. We're going to literally hit this. All you have to do is put it in the hot cocoa and he turns right to a 92 overall. This is honestly a very, very good card. But the one thing that's weird is he kind of just got an upgrade. I wasn't really expecting him to get another upgrade. But anyways, we're going to hop into some games. As you guys can see, his stats are going to be a 92. He's going to have a 94 speed on my team once I get enough training to get Sprinter on him. But let's head into some gameplay. We're going to be running some house rules, and let's see if we can get this bad boy going. All right, so we actually just did get a stop on offense. So now, I mean, on D... So we did just get a stop on defense. We're going to be taking over the ball. As you can see, Evan Ingram's here. We also did just upgrade to next gen, as you guys can see. Very excited about this one. The first gameplay on next gen. You're going to be see Evan Ingram's going to be wide open first play. This the first juke. Like, I'm still getting used to all of the animations and the weird movements, but I am enjoying this game a lot. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's something different for me. It's refreshing. I'm liking it a lot. Obviously, it's I'm getting used to it. It's not the same Madden at all. But we're going to have a quick dump down to Evan Ingram here. As you can see, he is a speedy tight end, as everybody knows. 94 speed tight end on my team. Very, very dominant. Like, for his price, everybody that is a no money spent or has a 92 overall or under team and is not running a, a strict theme team with a great tight end on it, everybody should have this Evan Ingram, especially with that price. Way too cheap. We're going to have a dump down to Kamara. Mr. Six touchdowns in one game, Kamara. As you guys can see, I'm only saying that because he's my favorite player. We do have a Kamara fathead right behind us, so... He is, as you can see, I love Kamar. Easily my favorite player. But we're going to have a dump down again to Evan Ingram. This might be able to turn into something big as we get down to the two-yard line. We're having a great drive with him. This has actually been a really, really fun gameplay. Only because, like I said, this is my our first gameplay with the brand new system. And honestly, I am loving it. Like I said, I've done all my house rules on it. I opened all my presents on it. The menus are a lot faster. But let's see if we can hit Evan Ingram on this quick dump down underneath. And it's looking like we're going to be able to dance right in to a wide open touchdown. Evan Ingram, the budget guy, the un Mr. 30K and under. Great, great card. Like I said, if you're a 92 overall or under and you're not running a strict theme team, he should 100% be on your team. As you can see, we're going to be going for two here. He is. I'm just going to throw him in a streak here. Nothing much we could do at that position. But as you can see, we're basically going to... Oh, that was a bad throw. Not too bad. I tried to low pass it, but not, not the best pass. It doesn't really matter. Two-point conversion. But anyways, let's head into another offensive possession. Let's see if we can get him going again. We get another interception there. I expect to quit like we see right here. So let's hop into game number two. Like I said, let's try to get this Evan Ingram going for another huge game. Right there, we had around 60, 70 yards. Not too bad at all with a brand new guy. Let's head right into game two. So we are in our second game. We are going to be getting the ball first here. 
I really want to get him another big game. That first game was great with him. Obviously, no abilities on him. He is still playing really good. We do have Howard Master on our quarterback. So if you don't have Howard Master, I really, really suggest tight end apprentice. One of the best abilities in the game. But as you guys can see, he's probably not going to be open on that cross. So we're going to hit underneath to... I think, yeah, Chad Ochocinco, I just picked him up today. That is why I was a little stagnant there with my answer. But I really, really want to get this guy going. He is a guy that I want to have in my second tight end. I want to learn how to get a good t like double tight end formation. I've been really slacking and only running one tight end this whole year. I did pick up the brand new Taysom Hill. I, I switched over to the Saints uh Oh, whatever theme team. I can't think of the word right there. I'm having brain farts. Christmas is I've been everywhere with Christmas But we're gonna have a dump down underneath real quick We're gonna beat him to the edge a big truck right there. It looks like he could truck as well He beat Marshawn Lattimore to the corner there. Not bad at all But like I said, I switched over to same same team I really want to find a good double tight end set and maybe another scheme inside of the Panthers that I can run I do run a lot of bunch off set, but as you can see it only features one tight end Getting a little boring. I kind of want to get refreshed a little bit. As you can see, we are going to get sacked right here. I have no clue. Justin Houston, 80 block shed just sacked me. That is a bad sign for our left tackle. Jimbo Cover, who we just picked up today, on a snipe as well. Getting dominated by a guy that doesn't even have above 85 block shed. But it looks like we're going to have our classic dumb down out here. Wide open play. The bunch offset is so easy to run, as you guys can see. Like, probably the easiest, like, scheme in the game. Like, I'm not even just saying that because I run it. It is really effective, really good. You cannot run out of it. That is the only thing. So, you have to make a lot of dots out of it. That is why you guys see when I do my running game plays. They're a little weird because I, I don't run much myself. As we're going to just throw out of a sack there, I'm staring out Evan Ingram a little too much there. But I have no clue what I'm going to run on this play. I'm going to probably run a motion slant on a high post and maybe try to drag his user out of there. If we could do that with the slant, then that post will be wide open. We're going to drag Evan Ingram. We're going to motion slant uh, Dion over here. And then we're going to look for that Adoree Jackson over the middle. Adoree Jackson has been one of my favorite players as well. I did a game play on him. Very, very good card. As you can see, he's using Eric Kendricks, but I am not scared of that card at all. Adoree Jackson great catch on a terrible throw i have never seen rich gannon make that bad of a throw i tr i should have low passed it it's kind of scared of the eric kendricks underneath i know it's a linebacker but in next gen linebackers are a little better but it looks like we're gonna have him underneath again and he gets almost gets out there i literally made the worst read right there it looks like he's gonna start reading that a little bit we're gonna see if we can run something else he is starting to read that we're doing that so maybe if i could hit him on some crazy route let's see what we have over here we do have a trail this might be able to mess him up on a trail route. Like I said, look, it looks like he's running out and it bends and it's wide open over the middle. We completely juke out the user. That is the highlight of the video. That is just outsmarting your opponent. He thinks you're running the out route again and completely, completely dot up the user. What a play by Evan Ingram. And he just torched the user just from speed alone. 94 speed again. We're going to run this in and if we have another possession, we'll hop right into it. We did get an interception to win the game there. A great game. I am still very hyped up about that outsmartage with the Evan Ingram. That was just a very, very fun play right there. And we got to showcase his speed. The guy did make a great adjustment to it. He almost caught up. But the speed took off at the end, and he got right into the end zone. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys pick him up. Let me know if you guys want to pick up a card like this and you like these budget videos. Because this is a guy, right when I noticed they gave you the collectible for free, and the snow is very cheap with, the obviously, the market crash today. I knew this is a card everybody should have on their team. And I knew I had to get this video as quick as possible. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. And also, I hope you guys had a great Christmas as well. Peace.